What's going on, guys? Welcome into an at-home edition of the Broncos Breakdown because Russell Wilson has been ruled out for Week 15 against the Arizona Cardinals. Matthew Peterson here filming from my kitchen on the day off because we got to talk about this because I think this is decently big news, not just because he was ruled out from the concussion. No, that's not really why he's not playing. Um, he actually passed concussion protocol. So Russell Wilson was not ruled out from the game because he is still in concussion protocol. No, it was the Denver Broncos organization that decided we want Russ to have an extra week to get ready for next week against the Chargers, which at this point, if you're going to shut him down for one week, which I've got no issue with, I'm, am I the only one who thinks maybe just kind of pull the plug on the rest of the season, which I understand you gave up a lot for him and you want to see him end on a high note this year and maybe kind of carry some momentum and kind of ditch the cobwebs this season and just hope and pray that next year he'll be old vintage Russ. But at the same time, it seems like you're maybe going to be playing with fire, putting him out there after a very scary concussion two weeks later with a bad shoulder and a partially torn hamstring, right? That might just be only me going... How about we just get to see Brett Rippon? Which, by the way, that is who's going to be starting, of course, in place of Russ. Making a second start. Remember, he started week seven against the Jets at home. He played all right. He had a bad fourth quarter in reception that pretty much sealed the game. But, hey, I'm not going to expect, a t uh, you know, a terrible amount of play from my backup quarterback. So, um, in terms of what to expect from Brett Rippon... Not a whole lot. I mean, him and Jerry Judy hopefully can can build off of Judy's uh, performance from last week. Um, Cortland Sutton has already been ruled out along with Kendall Hinton, so don't expect a whole lot happening over there. Uh, we're going to get to some Randy Gregory injury news in a little bit. Jared Garantano, who the Broncos signed to their practice squad, and then now they're elevating the, uh, to the active roster. He's going to be the backup quarterback uh, for Brett Rippon. He played at Tennessee and he went to Washington State, but that's enough on JG. Let's get back on Russ though, because that's the big news here, right? So do you guys think Russell Wilson should be shut down for the rest of the year? I'm going to go with yes. I, I understand the other side of the coin of, hey, you gave, gave up a lot for him and you're paying him a lot of money. So the ownership wants to see him play, right? That's a pretty tough sell if you're George Payton going, yeah, that's the guy you have two first round picks for and we gave a quarter of a billion dollars to, but we're not going to play him anymore. That's not going to go over very well for the person signing the checks, but also you got to tell them, we got to think longevity here and we're not going anywhere this season. We have been eliminated from the postseason. We are a three win team in December. Is it really all that wise? I'm, I'm not talking shutting down a healthy Russell Wilson. No, I'm talking about a banged up Russell Wilson, right? Let him get the rehab started. Now, Russ is a very competitive guy. He does not want to get shut down. He was not a fan, evidently, of this decision to not have him play this week in the best interest of the team moving forward. But I think with the injuries he has sustained this season, I, I would personally kind of call it quits and just go, Brett Rippon, rest of the year. I know that's not going to make for a lot of fun remaining games, especially on Christmas Day against the Rams. Which, by the way, Brett Rippon, Colt McCoy this Sunday. Woof. We're going to have a watch party, though, this Sunday. So tune in for our watch party. We're going to have it on the channel if you're looking for a more entertaining way to, you know, take on the 2022 Denver Broncos. Um, yeah, the watch party is definitely going to be a much more... I want to say entertaining and manageable and less suffering type of way to enjoy Broncos football this year. Let's get to some other injury news, though. So Randy Gregory, who has not played since it was warm outside, that's the measuring stick I'm going to go with, is looking like he's going to play, as will Billy Turner, this Sunday. Now, Randy Gregory was someone we had gotten very little updates on. I thought he might return around week 10-ish and... Here we are entering week 15. It's the first time I've heard his name all week. And he returned to practice. Remember, he got mid-season knee surgery. And I sort of see why they're going to play him, though. Because that's another example, another case of, hey, he's hurt. You're eliminated. You sunk a lot of money into him. Maybe rest him also. Randy Gregory hardly plays football. 
right? Every single season, it's either something, some, some injury, a knee injury, or for a stretch there, a suspension. So I think if you're Randy Gregory at this point, you just want to go play ball. Whether you're playing for a three-win team or a 13-win team, 13 team, you just want to play football. So I actually see the more the logic in playing Randy Gregory despite him also coming off an injury and the season effectively being burnt toast because you need to see him play football. He needs to play football. He needs to remember how to tackle guys, right? He was so great, him and Bradley Chubb, the first couple weeks of the season. He had two forced fumbles right out of the gate. It was awesome. So I just want to see Randy Gregory play, even if it's meaningless games. You know what? You're paying him. Let's watch him play because Randy Gregory, he needs to get games under his belt. Unlike Russell Wilson, who never missed football. I mean, he only missed three games in his entire career before the Broncos traded for him. He's missed two already this year now, unfortunately. So for Randy Gregory, who has never come close to playing a full season, I, I'm all for get Gregory on the field, get him some snaps, get him you know ready for next season while keeping him in, in, the, in the flow of things, in the mix of things here. Some more injury news to hit on here. Questionable guys, Draymond Jones, DJ Jones, Dalton Reisner. If it's not Dalton Reisner, it'll be Luke Wattenberger at left guard. And ooh, that was tough last week, not gonna lie. Uh, Andrew Beck and Dakota Allen. And then, like we said, Cortland Sutton and Kendall Hinton have been ruled out. So we're going to get ready to sign off here. We've got a uh, chat sports holiday party. Dave and Buster's tonight. No free ads, but Dave and Buster's. I mean, that's a top place to go for a holiday party, not going to lie. So with that being said, make sure to tune in for our watch party on Sunday. We'll be right here on the channel. And then who do you guys have winning this game, right? Broncos, Cardinals. This is going to be a very ugly game. Also, quick sidebar, Hackett, he grew a bit of a goatee. That is a, that's a sad beard to grow, right? That is a man who has spent very little time at home and hasn't gotten a lot of sleep kind of beard to grow, goatee to grow. Just not a good luck, you know? And now I'm just being critical of Hackett's facial hair. But it, it's just, ooh, that's the point of like, you already handed over play calling to Clint Kubiak. You're growing out a beard. You're starting to look a bit disheveled, like the, you know, the five o'clock shadow, stuff like that. Poor hack. I feel, I feel bad for the guy. Great guy. Great guy. Just not a good head coach. All right. So let me know what you guys are thinking. Broncos, Cardinals, who do you got? I'm going to actually go Denver. I am. Um, I don't have a good reason why other than they also are on their backup quarterback and it's in Denver. However, the Cardinals are atrocious at home. All of their wins come on the road. So I, I want to believe this is going to be home field advantage, gets it done, right? Broncos country makes some noise, incompletes, all that good stuff. So with that being said, I'll take the Broncos winning 13 to 10. That's my best guess at it. Let me know your score predictions down below. I'm going to sign off, let you guys enjoy the rest of your Friday. No Russell Wilson, but we will get Randy Gregory back for this Sunday, it appears.